So, good old typing practice. I'm not sure if any of you did it, but when I was in school, we always had to practice typing. Major practice with ideal, sweaty, try hard mode. You know, each hand gets one half of the keyboard, thumbs on the spacebar, blah blah blah. I personally learned the form more or less. The only thing I could never do is type with my pinky, because that's just weird. If you can type with your pinky, you're probably missing a few brain cells. Anyways, I can type pretty fast. I mean, I hope so, since I'm chronically online, I have just a bit of brain rot, and I'm always on my computer because, you know, programmer if you didn't know. Check out how fast I can type. All right, I'm using my phone to record my hands. Um, <laughs> let's see how good this is. How do they do the ASMR? They're like, watch this. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm better than you at typing. Now, when it comes to typing games, I usually go on Type Racer or Nitro Type. There's also the Human Benchmark Test, but that doesn't have multiplayer. Here's the problem. I can type fast, but not world record fast. Apparently, the world record for typing is 212 words per minute. But I've come across these videos by this YouTuber, Mythical Rocket. He does typing content, and he's constantly destroying the official world record. He's the actual final boss when it comes to typing. Well, I've been in the typing scene for quite a while now. And I am excited to announce that I finally hit 300 words per minute on 15 seconds. Oh, shoot! What the fuck? What the so, uh, there's no way I'm beat is what someone who can't program would say. Well, since I can't be the fastest typist normally since I have a life, you know, I have some TikToks to go through. I'll just make a program that'll make me the fastest. I bet these people can't program since they're just practicing their stupid typing form. And what better way to prove that I'm the fastest typist in the world than destroying some kids on some typing games. So I'll be creating a typing bot for Type Racer, Nitro Type, and the Human Benchmark Test, because why not? The bot should be pretty straightforward to make, and it shouldn't take too much time. It's probably going to be a simple Python script with something like Selenium or Beautiful Soup to web scrape the words. And side note, I haven't been posting too much. I've been working on some other fun stuff, so uh, sorry about that. I'm trying to be more consistent, so uh, bear with me. <laughs> Anyways, let's start with Type Racer. If you don't know what type racer is, you're either really young and you're still in diapers, or you're really old and you're in diapers. <laughs> so looking at how type racer handles words, it seems they put them into these span elements, and the class names for these look very similar. Now it seems they split it into two parts, the current word you have to type and what's left to type, but they split the word that you have to type even further to it looks like three parts, what you've typed, the next letter you have to type, and what's left of the word. So I think this bot might actually be very very simple to make. All we have to do is combine both parts into one part in order to get the entire paragraph. Once we get that paragraph, we can split it into the individual words, and from there, all the bot has to do is type it. This sounds really easy when I put it into words, but um, let's see if it's that easy to program. Okay, so Type Racer seems to only use spans for the words we have to type, and we can be even more specific because those span elements also have this unique attribute called unselectable. So if we make the program only select the words that have this unselectable attribute, it should give us what we need. And oh, would you look at that? I already finished making the program. The program's pretty straightforward. I press these buttons and it's gonna start the bot, which is basically, I just grab all the text. Once I grab the text, it's just gonna type it out for me. Nothing groundbreaking here. All right, let's see if this works. Let's test this out. All right, let's press the button. Yes. What the? Okay, so I added these options so the browser doesn't close right away, so it should work this time. Let's see if this works. All right, let's do this again. All right, let's press the buttons. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, so it looks like the bot is typing too fast, and Type Racer can't handle that, so I added a little interval, which makes it type a little bit slower. All right, let's do this again. All right, let's press the buttons. Oh my god, yes! It works! Oh my god. Wait, what does that say? You have been disqualified from the current race under suspicion of cheating. How am I cheating? I wonder how they thought of that. I can definitely type this fast. Okay, so I increased the interval a little bit so that the bot types a little bit slower so Type Racer doesn't recognize that we're cheating. And now it's time to become the fastest typist in all of Type Racer. Let's do this. Shrimp Alfredo. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what is this typing challenge? Oh no, I have to pass a CAPTCHA test. 
Oh no. Oh. Okay, so this just got a lot more complicated for no reason. We have to pass a capture test, a test that's specifically made to stop bots. Okay, all we have to do to pass this test is type that paragraph at a similar typing speed with passing accuracy. What makes this difficult for bots is number one, it's an image, so I can't extract it like we did with the typing paragraph, and two, the words are twisted to prevent OCR models from extracting the text, and on top of that, there's black lines covering some words to make it even harder. So we're gonna have to add on to the program to pass this CAPTCHA test. I'm still going to try using OCR, just like in my Kahoot video. If you don't remember, OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition, and in the most basic sense, for your small brains to understand, it lets computers read text from an image. Now this might not work because of the black lines and the twisted words, because these models are usually trained with ideal conditions like clean handwriting and not for doctor handwriting. But there's still a chance OCR can still pass this test since all we have to do is get a good enough accuracy and not 100%. So here's the code I'm going to be using to extract the image and I also added a pre-processing step so that I remove the black lines from the text to hopefully make it easier to read but it isn't perfect since some of the words are still messed up. So let's test this out and see if this works. Just finished doing a typing race, let's test this out. Let's press the buttons and oh nah. <laughs> it's not the worst accuracy but this is not good enough to pass the test. Hmm. All right, second approach. Surprisingly, ChatGPT is really good at extracting the words and way more accurate than the OCR model. And funny enough, OpenAI is really trying to prevent ChatGPT from reading these images because, you know, it's passing the bot test, which is kind of defeating the whole point of the bot test. But I think I can use the ChatGPT4 vision model instead of the OCR model to pass the test. Here's the code for the GPT4 version. And now let's see if I can finally become the fastest typist in the world. Okay, let's do another race. I also made the bot type a little bit faster. Yeah, this is so stupid. <laughs> All right, it's time to test out GPT-4 and hopefully we can pass this. Is it working? Come on, come on, come on, yes. It's looking pretty good actually. Wait, I think it's perfect. Let's go, CAPTCHAs ain't stopping me. You can't stop my bot, I am the best. All right, let's press submit. Are you kidding? And there we go. We passed the capture test and now we're ready to start racing. Made my account. Now we're ready to take over the world. The goal is to be number one on the leaderboard and I lowered the interval to type even faster. Time to pass this captcha and finally get my name on the leaderboard. I can't believe this works. It's actually insane. Oh my God, it actually worked. We passed it. I typed 242 words per minute at 100% accuracy. The proof is right there. I'm certified. So my score has been saved. It's been done. I'm the best. Wait a minute. I'm second place still. God damn. All right, we're doing another race. I lowered the interval even more to make sure I get number one. Fools. I'm at the peak of my typing abilities. You all stand no chance. Easy peasy, let's go. Oh, I don't have to do the captcha. Nice, there we go. Number one in type racer. I'm the fastest typist in the world when it comes to type racer. Number one, number one, number. So I went to bed and when I woke up to work on this again, um, I came back to this. Um, yeah, so I got suspended. Well, shit, but don't worry. I have a secret program that will get me out of this. This program is gonna generate an image and this image is gonna get my account back. So let's run the program and here's the image and let's see what it gives us. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Yeah, my account's just suspended. So um, some of you are wondering, well, what's this image then? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is one of the best ways to learn math, data science, and computer science in a fun and interactive way. Everyone knows how boring learning can be, sitting down, listening to boring slideshows from your teachers. Well, Brilliant does it differently by using bite-sized interactive lessons to make it easy to build a daily learning habit without it feeling boring. Look at this lesson on how strong passwords work. Looks way more interesting than a Google slide. Or these lessons on how GPS works. I mean, that looks pretty cool. This is how I expected colleges to teach. Brilliant also has thousands of lessons from basic computing to learning all about quantum computing. And all of those lessons are high quality and interactive to make sure you don't forget what you're learning. And if you think, well, quantum computing sounds difficult, my small brain can't handle that. Well, luckily for you, Brilliant customizes the content to fit your needs and lets you solve the lessons at your own pace so you don't get confused and overwhelmed. So if all that sounds good to you and you'd like to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash the coding sloth or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you who click that link will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Enjoy it. Alright, let's go back to destroying typing games and move on to the next victim, Nitro Type. 
Nitro Type might be the typing game I used the most when I was learning how to type, and now it's time to finally be the best player. So it looks like Nitro Type uses a similar system as Type Racer, where the words are in spans. So this should be a pretty easy modification to the program. Yep, very easy. Let's test this out. All right, let's see this. Press the buttons and yeah, <laughs> it works here too. <laughs> let's go. All right, I made an account, and now it's time to get on the leaderboards here. Four hundred and ninety-three words per minute. I am the greatest of all time. No, I got bad from Nitro Type too, <laughs> man. Let's move on to our next victim, the human benchmark test. Yeah, this also uses the same span system as the other typing games, which means very easy to modify. Let's destroy this game, and I put no interval on this since it doesn't seem to have any anti-cheat system since, you know, no multiplayer. Alright, press the buttons and... Holy sh**, 6,685 words per minute, what the f Now, even though I said I was only going to make the bot work for these three games, after seeing how easy it was to modify the program, I also made it work for monkey type. So let's destroy Mythical Rocket's typing score and show him who's the best typist in the world. So monkey type system was a little bit different from the other ones, but it wasn't too difficult to make the modifications. It's time. Once I start this, I've conquered all the relevant typing games and I have become the best. Let's finish the job. I'm excited to announce that I finally hit 300 words per minute on 15 seconds. I've been trying for this for ages, um, and I'm just, <laughs> I finally hit it, dude. Like, this came out of nowhere. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Nobody is a faster typist than me. I am the peak. I am the best.